and noble lords will scrape and bow and double themselves in two, and open their eyes in blank surprise at whatever she likes to do, and everybody will roundly bow, she's fair as flowers in May, and say, how clever, at whatsoever she condescends to say, oh, she's the oldest thing I mean to be a regular royal queen. No, half and half of fair, I mean no half and half of fair. Oh, right now, regular, 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 regular royal queen. Oh, she's the oldest thing I mean to be a regular royal queen. A regular, regular. Chancellor in his peruke, the Earl, the Marquis, and the Duke, the Groom, the Butler, and the Cook, they all shall equal be. The aristocrat who banks with coots, the aristocrat who hunts and shoots, the aristocrat who cleans our boots, they all shall equal be. The noble lord who rules the state, the noble lord who cleans the plate, the noble lord who scrubs the grate, they all shall equal be. The lord high bishop orthodox, the lord high coachman on the box, the lord high vagabond in the stocks, they all shall equal be. For everyone who feels inclined, suppose we undertake to find congenial with his frame of mind, congenial with his frame of mind, and all shall equal be. Sing high, sing low, wherever they go. Sing high, sing low, wherever they go. Wherever they go, wherever they go, they all shall equal be. Sing high, sing low,
who act in perfect unity, whom you can order right and left with absolute impunity, who put their subjects at their ease by doing all they can to please. And thus to earn their bread and cheese is every opportunity. And thus to earn their bread and cheese sees every opportunity. Ah, ah, we act in perfect unity. Ah, ah. Circumvent. Then, if business isn't heavy, we may hold a royal levy or ratify some acts of parliament. Then we probably review the household troops with the usual shallow hopes and shallow hopes, or receive with ceremonial and state an uh, interesting Eastern potentate. After that, we generally go and dress our private valley. It's a rather nervous duty. He's a touchy little man. Write some letters literary for our private secretary. He is shaky in his spelling, so we help him if we can. Then in view of cravings enough, we go down and order dinner. Then we polish the regalia and the coronation plate. Spend an hour in titivating all our gentlemen in waiting, for we run on little errands for the ministers of state. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, yet the duties are delightful and the privilege is great. But the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is to run on little errands for the ministers of state. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, yet the duties are delightful and the privilege is great. But the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is to run on little errands for the ministers of state. After lunch and making merry on a bun and glass of sherry, if we've nothing in particular to do, we may make a proclamation for receive a deputation, then we possibly create a pair or two. Then we help a fellow creature on his path with the garter or the thistle or the bar, or we dress and toddle off in semi-state. Oh, a festival, a function, or a fete. Then we go and stand a sentry at the palace, private entry, marching hither, marching thither, up and down and to and fro, while the warrior on duty goes in search of fear and beauty, and it generally happens that he hasn't far to go. He relieves us if he's able, just in time to lay the table. Then we dine and serve the coffee, and at half past twelve or one, with a pleasure that's emphatic, we retire to our attic with the gratifying feeling that our duty has been done. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, but the pleasures are many and the worries there are none. And the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is the gratifying feeling that our duty has been done. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, but the pleasures there are many and the worries there are none. And the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is the gratifying feeling that our duty has been done. Take 
them, keep them if you can, if you can. Take all these, you lucky man. Take and keep them if you can, if you can. Take a pretty little coat, quite a miniature affair, hung about with trellised vine. Furnish it up on the spot with the treasures rich and rare I've endeavored to define. Live to love and love to live, you'll rifle at your ease, growing on the sunny side. Fate has nothing more to give, you're a dainty man to please. If you're not satisfied, not satisfied, I'll take my counsel, happy man, act upon it if you can, if you can, take my counsel, happy man, act upon it. Counsel, happy man, act upon it if you can, if you can, if you can, act upon it if you can, happy Do they keep you at a distance? Oh, 
Unaided, are you acting? Or do they provide assistance? When you're busy, have you got to get up early in the morning? If you do what you ought not to do, they give the usual warning. With a horse to their equip you, lots of trumpeting and drumming. Do the royal trade meticulous? Ain't the livery becoming as your human being in a feed on everything that nice is? Do they give you wine for dinner? Peaches, sugar, plums, and ices? We shall both go on requesting till you tell us. Never does it. Everything is interesting. Tell us, tell us all about it. They will go on Party leaders you might meet 
In twos and threes in every street, maintaining with no little heat their various opinions. Now there's a sight you couldn't beat to party leaders in each street, maintaining with no little heat their various opinions. That king although no one denies his heart was all that noble size, yet he'd have acted otherwise if he'd had been acuter. The end is easily overcome when every blessed thing you hold is made of silver or of gold. You long for simple pewter when you have nothing else to wear but cloth of gold and satin dress. For cloth of gold you cease to care. Of gold's the price of shoddy. Of shoddy. Of gold's the price of shoddy. In short, whoever you may be, to this conclusion you'll agree when everyone is somebody then no one's anybody now that's as plain as plain can be to this conclusion we agree when everyone is somebody then no one's anybody She's a silly, still she answers pretty well. Now when we were pretty babies, someone married us, that's clear. And if I can catch her, I'll pitch her and scratch her and send her away with a plea for it. We hope that young lady married to receive her, but we should. And if I overtake my warrant, I beg her to shake in her aristocratic heart. If she married your Giuseppe, you and he will have to part. If I have to do it, I warrant you, we don't teach her to marry the man of my heart. If she married this, a Marco, you're a spinster. No matter, no matter, if I could get that, I doubt if her mother would know her again. Profound regret 
She of beauty was a model with a tiny tibble toddle and a twenty one. She's excelled by none at twenty one. She's excelled by none at twenty one. She's excelled by none. She comes to claim the I get and they're highly delighted. They're highly delighted. MPs, baroneted, sham colonels, gazetted, and second rate aldermen knighted. Yes, aldermen knighted. Foundation stone laying, I find very paying. It adds a large sum to my making. Large sum to his makings. At charity dinners, the best of speed spinners, I get 10% on the taking. One tenth of the takings. I present any lady whose conduct is shady or smacking of doubtful propriety. Doubtful propriety. When virtue would quash her, I take and whitewash her and launch her in first-rate society. First-rate society. I recommend acres of clumsy dressmakers, their feet and their finishing touches. Their finishing touches. A sum in addition they pay for permission to say that they make for the Duchess. They make for the Duchess. Those pressing prevailers, the ready-made tailors, quote me as a great double barrel. A great double barrel. I allow them to do so, though Robinson Crusoe would jib at their wearing apparel. Such wearing apparel. 
I sit by selection upon the direction of several companies bubble. All companies bubble. As soon as they're floated, I'm freely banknoted. I'm pretty well paid for my trouble. He's paid for his trouble. At middle class party, I play at Ecarte, and I'm by no means a beginner. She's not a beginner. To one of my station, the remuneration, five guineas a night and my dinner. And wine with her dinner. I write letters blatant on medicine's patent and use any other who must. Believe me, you mustn't. And now my complexion derives its perfection from somebody's soap, which it doesn't. It certainly doesn't. We are ready as witness to anyone's fitness to fill any place or preferment. A place or preferment. We're often in waiting at junket or fating and sometimes attend an interment. We enjoy an interment. In short, in your kingdom, the spark and the swindle, your secret has into your clutches, yes, into your clutches. Or who drink a debtor, you cannot do better than trot out a duke or a duchess. A duke or a duchess. To combine a pose imperious with an mean and nobly bland. Let us combine a pose imperious with a mean and nobly bland. That's if anything too unbending, too aggressively stiff and grand. Now to the other extreme you're tending. Don't be so deucedly condescending. Now to the other extreme you're tending. Don't be so dreadfully condescending. Oh, hard to please some noblemen seem at first if anything to unbending. How could he go to the other extreme to confoundedly condescending? A gavotte perform sedately Offer your hand with conscious pride Take an attitude not too stately Still sufficiently dignified Now for an attitude not too stately Still sufficiently dignified One sleep, twice sleep, one sleep, twice sleep Bow impressively ere you glide. Capital boat, capital boat, you caught it nicely. But in the style of thing precisely. Capital boat, capital boat, you caught it nicely. That is the style of thing precisely. Oh, sweet to earth, a nobleman's praise. Capital boat, capital boat, you caught it nicely. Supposing he's right in what he says, this is the style of the precisely.
known a king, a queen, a star. Ever since marriage was first invented, never was known a case so hard. I may be said to have been bisected by a profound catastrophe. Before calamity hard expected, I am divisible into three. I may be said to have been bisected. Tainted, tainted, tainted. 